And Father, I just thank you today for the opportunity to get out and enjoy these good outdoors. And I just do pray that you keep us safe today. And I pray that you bless our venture. And we thank you for it. Amen. 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 All right, we're going to take this trailer and this uh, four-wheeler about a quarter of a mile down here. And we're going to put in a uh, little riverbed, paddle about a half a mile, and uh, climb up into some really good deer woods. And so, come go with us. We just kind of had to make do and make shift, but uh, I think we're going to make it. on the road again. I think the worst is behind us. I thought the uh, I thought the river was going to be the treacherous part, but uh, uh, this trail is not so not so safe either. Here we got one more spot that might be a little bad here. All right, let me see if I can help. to our destination not the end of the world not without its uh, mishaps but it could have been worse <laughs> all right we're going to put in right here and uh, got about a half a mile to paddle up this little uh, oxbow lake If we were hunting or fishing, or both. Looks like somebody puts in right there. So we just paddled in about a half a mile down this old Oxbow Way. The lake ends up here about a hundred yards. Just over this ridge is another, we'll just call it a slough. It's actually a creek. We passed it a half a mile back. And it makes a big loop and narrows up to about 50 yards over here. Anything for half a mile that way is either got to swim or walk past us right here at 50 yards. The lake ends less than 100 yards up here and so we're going to try to get down where the end, at the end of the lake uh, actually there's another lake that butts into it and there's about 100 yards between the two lakes so anything traveling north and south has got to come between these two lakes anything traveling east and west has got to come down this little peninsula here which is only 50 yards wide at this point we're going to try to get in the corner where we can cover north, south, and east and west travel corridors. I don't know that we can cover both of them. It's pretty brushy in here. It's an excellent bedding area. Everything around us is wide open river bottoms. You can see forever. But in this 40 acre patch right here, it's tall grass, weeds, briars, swamps. This is a bedding hole right here. And uh, at some point I'd love to get in here an hour before daylight, but that's, that's a chore. But as it is, it's been daylight about an hour. Uh, the deer are probably on their feet, so we're going to sleep in here and try to get set up in these travel cor corridors and spend the whole day. We'll leave here probably about 5 o'clock this evening 
and uh, we should get back to the form we were about dark. It's going to be a great day. Chris is going to get a big one. <laughs>
guys so we're getting ready to pack it up we still have to do back uh, to the four wheeler and then we still have to uh, go for the four wheeler to the truck so uh, <clears throat> just to make sure we have safe flight we're about to head back but it was real exciting uh, we didn't see anything all day long until about 30 or 45 minutes ago and uh, first we saw two does come out and then we saw one more doe come out we're still Man, we don't want to go. We want to stay, but we know we have to. Uh, you know, there could be a buck come out any minute, uh, perhaps chasing those toes, but uh, maybe we can catch him first thing in the morning. Y'all stay with us. We're going to come back tomorrow. Are you rolling? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I got got some of it, but I didn't get some to you. Right. I couldn't find him in the viewfinder. Okay. He was down in that grass. Well, that was exciting, y'all. We uh, we've been hearing this buck grunt all morning long. We'd hear him come up this way, go back that way, and uh, uh, we just heard him all morning. And then finally he came out and. Uh, he crossed the lane pretty fast, as you could tell. And uh, I, at first, I had trouble finding him in my uh, in my scope because he was behind a bush or something. But then I finally found him, and um, I, I hope I got a good clean shot on him. Um, but uh, it was funny though. I, I don't know if we got it on camera or not. But as soon as I shot, he darted off in our direction, and he passed. I mean. 15 yards, 10 to 15 yards right in front of us, and we heard him go down over here in this uh, body of water. So uh, here in a minute, I'm going to see a mark in this water to pull the deer up. Right, something's got, I think a hog. Hold on, let me, let me get, let me get one. I'm going to get one. 
Thank you. Did you get one? No, I don't think so. I still, yeah, he did too. He's down. He's right there. So I asked you just oh. how. <laughs> how are we going to get all this in the canoe? Yeah. <laughs> uh, as I was saying. Uh, so this buck came out. I got it. I think I got a clean shot. I heard him go down in the water. I think I to go put him out of his mission. Just now as I was talking, I heard of hogs came running through. And then I just busted one there too. So uh, it looks like we're going to have a buck and a hog to uh, to go get. You may have to go put him down. And then we got to get all this in canoe somehow. So uh, let's see what we got going on. We don't have to swim. I know. <laughs> Good. Oh, he's got he's better than I thought, Chris. It's, it's still small. It's still small, but I'm not Let me let me get you some audio here. Might need to just get it dragged out. Go ahead and look before you drag him out. Yeah. Uneven, but I couldn't tell what was going on there. Oh, he's heavy. All right, well, the Lord blessed us today. Uh, today uh, was a very fun morning. Uh, it started off real cold. Uh, we took the canoe right in about half a mile, and uh, as the ice was uh, the frost was melting off of the leaves and everything. Uh, we started hearing grunts, uh, and uh, we heard uh, a buck grunting um, all through the woods. He would start over here, then he would uh, go a little bit further, and then back and forth. And Mark would call a couple of times. The buck would respond, and then, uh, but the anticipation was there, you know, uh, because we'd go through long periods without hearing anything, and then we'd hear him again. And then, just out of nowhere, just as quiet as could be, uh, this buck stepped out finally into the lane. And uh, and it turned out to be, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it turned out to be a little five point, uh, but I, I'm just, uh, I'm excited to get it. And as we were talking to you guys, a herd of hogs, about uh, six or seven hogs came out, and I managed to get this one. So we're going to be eating good. So you guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, stick around because uh, there's still plenty of season left and there'll be more to come.